Hello and welcome to Biome 1006 Biochemistry and Cell Biology. This video is going to be about Dr. Sherwood's lectures 1, 2 and 3. So the two learning objectives throughout these three lectures were to know the structure and function of the different organelles and to be able to identify and sketch the different organelles. So to start off with, in our human cells, the six main organelles you will find would be the nucleus, the mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, rough and smooth, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes and peroxisomes. So to start off with, this is the nucleus. So if we look at this diagram over here, this big ball over here, this is the nucleus. If we get a closer look at that, here we can see it's a, very, it's a large spherical organelle. Within the nucleus, we've got an area called the nucleolus. Then similar to the cytoplasm, we've got the nucleoplasm. Then as we go further out, we've got the nuclear envelope. And throughout the nuclear envelope, there are nuclear pores. These are the areas which chemicals can go in and out of the nucleus, mainly RNA. So the main functions of the nucleus is to be a store for DNA. It is also the site of DNA replication and the site of transcription, which is a process of turning DNA into RNA. So next is the endoplasmic reticulum. So this here is the nucleus, and then as we go out, right next to the nucleus, we've got this dotted looking dotted looking organelle and a smooth organelle. This dotted looking organelle is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the reason why it's rough is because these dots that we see throughout the endoplasmic reticulum, these are ribosomes. And these sites here is the site where you get protein synthesis. And this one here, this this smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is where we get lipid synthesis. So again, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, so that's this one is what contains ribosomes and it's the site of translation which is protein synthesis but they are only destined for inside the endoplasmic reticulum the Golgi apparatus, lysosomes or for secretions and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which is the one with no ribosomes which is this one here is the site of lipid synthesis so next we've got the Golgi apparatus and the structure of the of Golgi looks like this it looks like a series of flattened discs or almost like pan bread if you think about it like that so this area within the Golgi apparatus is called the lumen and the folds that we see here are called the cisternae and here we can see a transport vesicle coming in it will connect to one of these cristae releasing its substances into the lumen and it will pass on for a series of modifications before becoming a secretory vesicle so the function of the Golgi apparatus is a packaging and processing unit of macromolecules so for example proteins and and lipids for secretion or delivery to other sites of the cells. And what this means is basically post-translation modification to proteins. So for example, you can add carbohydrates, fatty acids, or prosthetic groups or other groups to the proteins to have a, to give us a particular function. So for example, here, this is where you'll get a protein coming in in this transport vesicle. It'll go through here and out. It could be released as a glycoprotein. So now here is a quick test yourself area. I'm going to ask you a couple questions and you're going to choose from A, B or C about which organelle it is. Okay? So which of these, A, B or C, is the Golgi apparatus? The answer? B. As we can see, it's a set of flattened discs. Which of these three organelles is the nucleus? The answer is A. Okay, we've got this massive spherical organelle with this darker area inside, which is the nucleolus. And which of these organelles is the site of protein synthesis? And the answer, C. For it is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, as we can see these like rough zones on it which are the ribosomes. So next we've got the mitochondria. So the mitochondria is a weird sausage look it's a sausage shaped organelle with folds on the inside called cristae. Okay? And the main function of the mitochondria is the size of the Krebs cycle, oxidative phosphorylation and ATP synthesis. So this organelle is the is like a battery for the cell. It's what produces all the energy required for the cell in the form of ATP. Another organelle you'll find is the lysosome. So the lysosome is a vesicle. Within it, we've got hydrolytic enzymes. So these enzymes 
are, are mainly required for breaking down material within the cell. So it's the site of intracellular digestion and it contains hydrolytic enzymes. So for example, proteases, which will break down protein, nucleases, which will break down nucleic acids, and lipases, which will break down lipids. And the important thing is they operate at an acidic pH. Okay, the reason why they only operate at a specific pH of five is that if this was, for example, to burst into the cell, they would immediately denature for the, for the pH within the cell is slightly alkaline. Thus, these hydrolytic enzymes will not catalyze the, the breakdown of our normal cells. And then finally, we've got peroxisomes. So the peroxisomes are similar to a, to a lysosome in structure, whereas they're physical. And within it, we've got more catalytic enzymes. Okay, so the peroxisomes are required for the oxidation of toxic molecules. So for example, in the liver, there are a high number of peroxisomes when it's dealing with like alcohol. It degrades hydrogen peroxide and other reactive oxygen species. So for example, when we're respiring, we'll get some free oxygen radicals. And the job of the peroxisomes is to neutralize these and to eliminate these. For these free radicals could react with our DNA, change the structure of our DNA, cause mutations, and they can therefore turn cancerous. It's also the site of beta oxidation of long chain fatty acids only if they've got a carbon chain of 20 plus. It also contains catalase, which is the marker enzyme specific to the peroxisome. And it's also required for bile acid synthesis and the breakdown of uric acid. Okay, so now finally we've got a big test yourself section. Okay, so if you're aiming for a pass, you should basically be able to draw a labeled diagram of a mitochondria. Simply enough, and it's worth five points. Describe the structure of the Golgi apparatus and state its function within the cell. This will be slightly higher, so 2 2 range. And again, it's worth five marks. So, what do you think you need to include to get five marks? Then step up to a 2 1. Compare and contrast the differences between the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And this is worth 10 points. Then, finally, if you're aiming for a first, it may require a bit of extra reading. Draw labelled diagrams of five different organelles and describe and explain how their functions interlink with each other to ensure the production of a single glycoprotein. So that's going to require you to bring out a broad spectrum of different organelles and to interlink them together. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. This was Dr. Sherwood's lectures 1, 2 and 3 for biochemistry and cell biology. I hope you enjoyed and good luck revising.